Hey everyone, this is the next phase in the Model 4 restoration. Today we're going to recap the power supply. I'm just going to do these caps in small groups, and the only ones I'm not going to do to start are these these two smaller .01 uh, microfarad caps, the line caps. I don't have those two in yet. It's larger buddy, the .1, is very much damaged, if I can get the camera to see it. And so we are going to replace that and all the electrolytic caps. The ceramic caps are going to stay as they are for now unless any are damaged, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, let's get to it. As we start, I've got the first four. I'm not going to do this intro with all these. Um, these guys are all 16 volt, 220 microfarad. And this guy is a 25 volt, 100. Um, they did not have a 25 volt 100, but they did have a 35 volt that was rated at the same temperature, is what it is, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to pull these out, put these in, mine the polarity. I do have a picture of this in case I lose track. Let's rock it to Russia. blown out. And there it is. So the next phase of the Model 4 project is going to begin before the last one is done. We're going to put these keys back on this keyboard. You might remember when I did plug the machine in and try out the keyboard that for the most part it worked. So we're going to put the keyboard back together and put the bezel back on. And then the next steps after that will be the floppy drives. I need to grease the rails, clean the heads, and do all of that. But the power supply is going to have to be live for that. So we'll do that when we're done. I have one of the old Tandy head cleaning discs for the floppy drives that I'll be using to clean them. And I can also take a Q-tip to the heads if I think that disc isn't going to hold up, but I really like it. So here we go. Let's put these keys on.
that's it. The keyboard is in place and all the keys appear to be attached properly. Very good. So the next step with this will be finishing the caps and the power supply. Um, these two guys here, these are safety caps. This one's already been done. All the others have been done and are new. Um, I had a couple of marks under a couple of these guys that looked as though there had been some electrolyte under them. But more on that when we get to the power supply video. Then what we'll do is we'll put the power supply back in, get the case back on, we'll try it right out. But until I have those last two caps replaced, I'm just going to wait. So things may look a little different than they did when I was doing the last set of caps, and that's because it's not the same day. Now it's time to get to these remaining two safety caps. So anyway, um, now that the iron is about heated up, I'm just going to remove these last two capacitors. We are going to get the old ones desoldered, solder the new ones in, and then I will bring the machine up, put the power supply in, and we will test it out. Okay, that's it. Got our new caps on there. So let's get them a little straight so my OCD can be happy at night. This one's a little off center, but we'll live. But either way, there they are. They're smaller than the other ones, but they are the same rating. Um, these are 275 volt versus 250 on these, but that's not a big deal as long as the capacitance is the same. And it is. So let's get the machine back out and we will reinstall this and test it out. So the case is here, uh, I've got it connected, the interface connector to the CRT, the ground is connected, you can see I have all the connections set here, power switch and all the power going out. Um, so I'm going to turn this on, hopefully the floppy drive spins, and then we'll give it a reset and hold brake, and hopefully everything works. No magic smoke uh, from the power supply, hopefully, no other smoke from other places. I did test this power supply before replacing all of the caps before, and so hopefully um, I didn't really bork it up and this will just kind of work. Here we go. Well, that's a good sign. And now we're going to hold break. Hey, look at that. Cassette prompt. Drive stopped. That's beautiful. So I think we're working pretty well. Um, it's not... Um, the keyboard is definitely going to need a little bit of lubrication around the, the plastic shafts and things, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Beautiful. I got a extra space in there, but who cares? Oh, the four didn't. The four didn't render. Did the four work? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the four is gonna need a little love. So three and four. I mean, the three came back as I was using it. So hopefully it's just exercise based. But again, I'll just take out the individual keys that I need to. Um, but so far, all things considered, this keyboard seems to be working well. So the power supply is now officially recapped. Um, There we go. I remembered the editor command. There we go. I'm your TRS-80 Model 4 computer. Had to make it work. Next up is the floppy drives. Um, it did kind of, it spins up, it seeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these out and I'm going to lubricate the, the rails. That'll be the next video. And then we'll test them out. I also have a head cleaner diskette that I'll be running through it. So the base computer is functioning. We are good. So until next time, thank you for watching.